hello. In the previous session, we have added three packages from the NuGet. In this session, we are going to perform the image classification using multi-class classification. Till now, we have used either CSV or the TSV file to load the data. But in the case of images, we need to provide the images itself. Here, I have created two different folders, training dataset and the prediction dataset. Both folder contains the three subfolder name apple, banana and cocos. Let me open the apple. This folder contains the various images of the apple. I have downloaded this from the Kaggle. It is a famous website for machine learning. You can find the various kind of dataset as well as the few examples of the Python notebook. I have downloaded various dataset from it. You can see that it includes the images of the apple from the various direction. Same is applicable for the banana as well as for the cocos. In the prediction folder, I have added the total 5 images 2 for apple, 2 for banana, and 1 for cocoa. Those images are not exactly same as the training dataset. Let's switch to the Visual Studio. Here I have created the input model. It has the three properties, image path, fruit name, and image bytes. It will be feature for the our pipeline. In the result model, I added the fruit name. It will be predicted level and score. Along with this, I have also created a demo class. Till now, we write the all logic within the execute method only. When number of lines increase, we need to split it into the different method. For this example, I am going to follow the same concept. So I have created the few property globally, such as the context, suffer data, split data, and model. Along with this, I have also created the property that represents the path to the demo folder. And I created two method. Execute method is blank. We will add the uh, stuff here throughout this session. Load images from folder method take the uh, folder path. Based on the folder path, it will load the all of the uh, files from the directory and uh, create a list that will hold the uh, input model. It will loop through the each of the file and check whether it's a JPG extension or not and uh, create the instance of the uh, input model. Here I have used the uh, flag all loading bytes and added that model into the list. Within the execute, let's call the load data method and create this method. Generate path for the training data set. Now we need to obtain the images details within this folder. So use the uh, load images from folder method. We have list containing the uh, details of the images. Now we need to create the uh, data view from it. For this, we need to use the uh, load model from enumerable method. We also need to suffer the uh, data. So model can identify the uh, difference in the images. For this, use the suffer row. We have loaded data. Now we need to pre process it. So call the pre process data method and create that method. We also need the training data set path here. So generate it. Let's create a pipeline for the pre-processing. Fruit name is a string type, so we need to convert it to the numeric. For this, I am going to use the map value to key method. Output column name will be label. And input column name will be the fruit name. We can also change the way how key will be assigned. 
by default it will assign the value in the order of the occurrence but for this example we are going to use the key ordinarity while we are loading data we are not pass the flag for load data so it does not have the bytes for the images for this i am going to use load row image bytes method output column name will be the feature and pass the path of the training data set input column name will be image path now we have the pre-process pipeline so we need to process the SFL data. Generate a temporary model for pre-processing data and transform the SFL data. After creating a model, I am going to evaluate it too. For this, we require the test data set. I don't have any individual data set, so I'm going to split this data set. Now it's a time for creating model. So call the create model from the execute method and create it instead of creating a model every time i want to save this model and create it if it does not exist let's check the file name image classification model dot zip exist or not if exists then open its file stream and specify the allocation using the context.model.load method here i don't want input schema so i have passed the discord here if the model does not exist then we need to create it create a pipeline for image classification As we have converted the fruit name to the key, we also need to perform the reverse operation at the end. So use the map key to value for the predicted label. Create a model by fitting the training dataset in the pipeline. and also save the model on the same location so we can access it in the feature see you in the next session